What's up guys, it's you, and welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown Live. This is episode number 61 in the series, and I already have a battle because I came prepared. Anyway, um, this is an interesting team. Uh, it's not bad, it's just interesting. Uh, it takes advantage of my z absolutely zero fire attacks, which is pretty lame. Um, if I weaken Skarm and uh, weaken Umbreon, and weaken Altaria, I can win. Um, his defogger is clearly Skarm. Uh, so if I can just taunt that and uh, keep that at bay, that'll be pretty nice. Um, also, Gengar does a lot of work versus his team, to be honest. Uh, he leads Altaria, which is fine. It's not an issue. I'm just going to go ahead and get my Stealth Racks up, because I'd imagine with the team he's running, he's uh, the sub-DD set, um, so, like sub-DD Roost. I would be hard-pressed to say he's special, but he is indeed special. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and get a spike up right here. Um because he, he'll, he'll miss Fire Blast. It's okay, he'll miss Fire Blast. If he actually misses Fire Blast, I'm gonna be pretty sad. Um, hopefully he doubles out to Skarm so I can just taunt it. Um, Cause then he'll take 12% as I taunt him or Brave Bird him. He just goes for the Hyper Voice, good play. Um, but right here, I'm just gonna go straight out into Gengar, Gengar. I'm gonna go straight out into Gengar. Gengar, 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 and uh, go straight away for the Sludge Wave. Uh, he does have two Steel types on his team, but uh, I'm not too worried because actually I think Shadow Ball is my safest play because he won't want to stay in anyway because Sludge Wave will hurt him a lot. And uh, I'd imagine he's going to go out to either his Scavalier or his Skarmory. Um, if it's Skarmory, that will be beautiful because then I can just T bolt that. But I'd, I'd imagine he's going to reveal AV as Scavalier here. And uh, we'll see how much damage this does. That did 32. That's AV. <laughs> um, right here, though, I'm going to go straight out into Bi Sharp. As he probably goes for the knockoff. Or do, I, or do I go into Gyarados? I don't go into Gyarados yet. Not yet. I go into Bi Sharp right here, and uh, I just click knockoff. Um, it sucks that I won't be able to pressure him with Defog anymore, but I don't think I win with Bi Sharp anyway. Um, actually, Bi Sharp. I can win with Bi Sharp. What am I talking about? Ow. That was unfortunate. How to lose your win condition 101 by Geopolitics YT. Um, so now that Gengar is gone, that's lame um, because now it's harder for me to pressure Skarm. I'm just gonna T bolt though um, because it should do quite a lot right here, and I don't think he realizes any he really has anything to do versus me. Um, I mean, he can knock off AV Escavalier with Pursuit. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Hat, hat tip for that one. Um, he'll he may just go into uh, Altaria right here, which wouldn't be a bad play because. But I'm just gonna like T wave that. Um, so he goes out into Heatran, which it, it's not an issue. That if you are offensive, you are offensive is all that roams is earth. I'm gonna go into a uh, Latias right here. I think I could go into Gara too. May just do that. If he reveals HP Electric, then I'm hitting that X button uh, because straight counter team. Um, but I think what's okay. Don't like reveal HP Electric. He goes for the Fire Blast. Don't burn. Nice. Um, right here, I'm just going to go ahead and actually, do I want my Mega yet? Do I want my Mega yet? Um, no, I don't. I don't because then he can click mega horn almost for free um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click waterfall right here uh, I don't think there's any sense in me dragon dancing up yet because um, if I can just like waterfall and get off solid damage on, a, on whatever comes in I'll be pretty pleased um, as he ends up just going straight out in a skarm this should do like 30 28 no rocky helmet which is nice but uh, I'm just gonna go straight out into by sharp as uh, he will probably just uh, do the thing where he uh, whirlwinds me right here. I think that would be his best play. Um, he could also roost, which would be a nice play as well. Um, and that makes me kind of want to go out into Thundee, but I don't think I can risk it. Because I don't have Volt Switch on Thundee. And uh, part of me wishes that I had Volt Switch because it would make it a lot easier to uh, handle these situations. But also at the same time... Um, like running running Thunderbolt lets me like stay in versus stuff that I wouldn't normally kill 
um, and that I need to stay in on. So, like, the, you know, there's pros and cons to both. And I don't really want to run both. I was actually talking about this uh, earlier in the Skype chat with Brendan and Chris that, like, it's really lame to run Thunderbolt and Volt Switch on Thunders because you lose out on a lot of coverage. He just ends up going for the default, giving me a free plus two. Um, we'll knock off kill. Calc, calc, friend. Um, so we're gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and take a look at buy sharp. Oh, you'd find a tagger. Um, item, black glasses. Well, I need my black glasses because they make me cool. Um, versus uh, Skarmory. Oh, you physically defensive. What if I'm plus two? Plus two to sixty nine. So that'd be a low roll. I think I have to knock off here. This is my only chance. If I don't actually knock him out, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Um, because, like, I can just run a train through his entire team at this point. Um, as he just ends up going at, going, at, going out rather into a scabbler to sack that. And if he's fast Altaria, that's going to suck. Although, I'd imagine he's bulky modest because Mega, like, special Mega Altaria is great. But it just, like, needs more power behind it, in my opinion. Because, um, otherwise there's not much merit to running it over stuff like Spec Sylveon. Except for the fact that you do get that nice, um... Uh, you do get an, a plethora of other resistances if you do run, um, if you do run, uh, Mega Altaria. Anyway, I'm gonna pause it. I'll be right back, guys. Hold up. Alright, guys, I'm back. Uh, he's running fast Mega Altaria, so that is annoying. <laughs> um... I thought that would have been a better situation for me than it ended up being, but it wasn't. Um, I think right here I'm just going to go out into Thundee, and my only chance really is to uh, get up to plus one with Gyarados and uh, flinch him once with Skarmory. If I can do that, I think I have a pretty good chance of winning. Other than that, um, I think I'll probably lose if that doesn't happen. I'm just going to go for the HP Ice right here and uh, hopefully knock him out. Um, we'll see what happens, though. He could very easily just pull a double to Heatran, and that kind of makes me want a T-Wave. Um... No, I'll just HP Ice, it's fine. Um, even if we lose this game, I think we had a pretty good run this week. My OU rating was like 1450 at the beginning of the week, which like isn't great. I hadn't played OU in forever. And now it's 1541, as he ends up going out into Umbreon, which is fine. Cause, oh my god, that is especially defensive as anything else you've ever seen. Uh, I'm just going to go straight away for the Focus Blast right here, because if I can get like a crit... Uh, that'd be nice. It'll help me break through him a lot. Um, although, <laughs> I'll probably just end up missing. Um, and even if I do hit, it'll do like 54%, and he can just stall me out of Focus Blasts if that's really what he wants to do. And that would be the good play for him to do at this point. Um, I'm wondering, at plus one, can I knock out Mega Altaria with Ice Fang if I'm using Mega Gyarados? And I think I can, because I believe I changed that to Adamant. I may not have. Um, that did 56%. That was like right on par. I get the Spit F drop too. That's nice. Um, I think that'll allow me to go for T-Bolt. Yeah, that should allow me to go for T-Bolt right here. I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, then I'm going to be pretty disappointed in myself. But, um, you know, that's okay. It was a real buzzkill that he was running enough speed on Mega Altaria. Um, that... Just be... I, I see why he does it, though, because he's, like, a very, very bulky offense team, and uh, he just gets, like, completely run through if he doesn't have it, so, uh, T-Bolt there works out for me. Uh, I think I'm going to double T-Bolt as my best play, because if he goes back into Umbreon, I get a nice chunk of damage off on that, and, uh, I don't want him, like, doubling out in a Heatran and being able to save this, or save whatever, actually, um is T-waving, T-waving isn't my best play, uh, because if he does knock me out, then, um, he's not in range of Psyshock, uh, so he ends up doubling the Heatran right here, which is fine, as I'm able to knock that out, so I can go out in a Latios right here, and, <laughs> hope I get lucky, basically, <laughs> um, we'll see what he decides to go for, of course, um, what's my Gyarados at, 70, okay, this is gonna be a challenge, <laughs> um, I think I can take a Hyper Voice if I'm not Mega yet, so, That'll certainly be something to note, and this is one of those times where I wish I was running, like, triple T-Bolt on my team, because it's always nice to lure in a Skarmory thinking they can take a Draco, and then, like, T-Bolt them, and they just go down, which is pretty beautiful. Um, he ends up going out in Gothitelle right here, which is fine, because I'm just going to click Draco, 
and uh, we'll see what he goes for. Hopefully nothing too threatening. Um, he'll probably reveal like HP ice right here maybe. I don't know. If he's choice locked, I almost want to healing wish right here. But uh, he ends up just going out to Mega Altaria, which is fine because I'm going to go straight away for the healing wish. I think it is my only play. Um, and hopefully Mega Gyarados can bring this back. I'd be pretty surprised if Gyarados brings it back. But you know, I have seen crazier things before. Um, he'll just go for the Hyper Voice right here. Um, and I know I can knock that out with a crunch as he ends up going for the Roost. Good play. Um, because this forces me to get, I think, two DDs. Or just, like, freeze him with Ice Fang. Which I'd feel pretty miserable about if that does end up happening. And I think this episode is going to have to be only one battle. Because I do kind of have to get going. But, regardless. Um, Gyarados is here. I am at full health. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go for the Dragon Dance. Um, because once I Mega, that'll put me at, like, 600 some attack. And I think I have to Mega in order to have a chance to knock him out with Ice Fang. I'm not going to pull up the Calc because I don't really think it matters. It's really my only play. And he'll do upwards of 60% with this Hyper Voice. 56. Alright, that still did a lot. Uh, so I'm going to Mega Evolve. I, I can't switch. What you talking about, friend? Uh, and I'm just going to go for the Ice Fang. Uh, if I get a Freeze, that's cool. Uh, if not, then I understand. And it happens sometimes, man. Do you feel? Um, but, like I said earlier, you know, I, I still thought it was a pretty successful week. Uh, this guy just had, like, the counter to my team. Uh, so that's a very, very, and he was high up on the ladder too, so good game. Uh, but that's going to wrap up this week, Pokemon Showdown Live. If you guys did enjoy this week, please make sure to leave a like, because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the day, which is, um, are you guys hype for the LBA? Uh, video should have gone up sometime this week. Um, I'm certainly super excited. Uh, yeah. And hopefully, here, here's to a good LBA year. Uh, but with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.